Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. And now, Storm Tracker Doppler Weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. We are mostly cloudy across a good chunk of the Arkham Mist, but we're not checking any showers or thunderstorms within our viewing area. However, it's a lot different going on to the northwest and parts of Texas and Oklahoma where we are tracking heavy showers and thunderstorms. And some storms do have a history of being severe, producing damaging winds and hail. And they could be here in the Arkham Mist by the latter half of this morning going into the early afternoon hours later on today. But here's a live shot right now out towards Thomas Road and I-20 again. Mostly overcast conditions can be expected for most of this morning. You don't necessarily need that umbrella or rain check as you're heading out the door, but you may need it later on today, closer to lunchtime. We're currently in the lower 70s right now with dew points in the upper 60s and wind is blowing currently out of the northeast. Relatively calm overall. Now to the northwest, we're currently in the upper 60s. 68 in Camden and El Dorado. Ruston's currently at 71. We're at 68 up in Monticello. 73 right now over in Shreveport. Now Doppler radar is currently quiet within our viewing gear. However, we are tracking some light showers and thunderstorms forming in portions of southern Arkansas and heavy activity going on in portions of northeast Texas and Oklahoma, where we are tracking some severe thunderstorms. Some of these have had some severe thunderstorm warnings that have been issued, especially just north of Longview, Texas. And that same activity is making its way closer to the Arklamas. A severe thunderstorm watch has been issued for the Arklatex area. That does include Columbia County, Arkansas, and that could be extended for us within our viewing area later on this morning. The boundary layer is currently holding out across our area, and that's where mostly st strong thunderstorms will fire up out ahead of the area of low pressure system. And as a result, a soft risk has been extended across the Arklamas area and the severe threat will continue into tomorrow as the boundary layer is not expected to go anywhere and we'll have that level three for the northeastern sections of the viewing area but really expecting the heaviest and strongest activity to be really in parts of Mississippi and Alabama for tomorrow but we can still see that even here in our viewing area so we can't exactly rule it out. Now the boundary layer will hold firm across the region mid upper level disturbances will allow enough instability as winds will shift out of the south and run into the boundary layer so we'll kind of have our uplift later on this morning and around lunchtime, but as we go into Thursday and Friday, our air blow pressure will rebuild back across Texas and a warm front will develop along that low pressure system and we could see the spark up of more shower thunderstorms throughout the week as we go into Thursday and Friday. So rain chances really aren't going to be going anywhere throughout much of this week. Now by nine o'clock, we'll see these strong thunderstorms make their way across the Arklamas and we'll continue with that around lunchtime, especially in portions of Arkansas. Then this afternoon around three o'clock, we'll get a break from the showers and thunderstorms, but we could see more scattered showers across portions of northeast Louisiana by 8 o'clock tonight. Heavy thunderstorms will be possible across southern Arkansas and then just rinse and repeat as we go into tomorrow as that same boundary layer will hold firm across the area. The same level of disturbance will really be sparking up more activity across the region as we go into Wednesday and even for Thursday and Friday, but the severe threat will start to diminish. Now the main thing we're looking at is the possibility of damaging winds and possibly some hail. Overall tornado threat is relatively low, but we'll be watching and keeping informed here at KTBE later on around lunchtime. Spending high about 89 degrees for today. Rain chances around 60%. Tonight you can see a low about 71 degrees with isolated showers and thunderstorms that will begin to linger. And for the seven day forecast, we'll see rain chances that much of this week. But Saturday and Sunday, we'll see a break from the rain, but temperatures will be warming up to the upper 90s. Stay tuned. You're watching NBC 10 News today.